Okay, we got a little bit more skip coming in today. I want to talk a little bit about sideband. I want to uh, explain in layman's terms what sideband is. Single sideband is what it's called. This is a type of talking mode in which there is no AM carrier. Whenever you key your microphone, you will not see a 2 watt, 3 watt, 4 watt dead key. All of the modulation that is done is done solely by your voice. When you talk into your microphone, the power output goes. So if you ever, you know, was, was to get a sideband radio and you're trying to check what your power is and you're not getting anything, make sure you're on AM and not on sideband. Because on sideband you will not have a carrier. What sideband is, my understanding of it, is you can be on a frequency. Let's just say 27.385. Okay, that's channel 38 on CB. You put that on sideband, that takes that frequency and splits it in half. Okay, so you have your upper sideband, I guess the upper, the top part of the frequency, and your lower sideband. This really doesn't mean much of anything, but that's just a real generic explanation of what sideband means. You can typically talk a little further on sideband. Sideband generally is not as busy as AM is. And just by the nature of what it is, you can generally talk a little further. And I'm talking local. Okay, I'm not so much talking, talking skip, but if you're in town, you got a friend or a buddy that lives 20 miles out of town, you would probably have a better chance or a better conversation talking with them on sideband than you would on AM. Now I'll explain a little bit about the clarifier, and whenever you run one of these, you have to tune in the person's voice. Okay. You can see how it sounds kind of, kind of funny. The voices sound funny. On this old Cobra 142, it is called your voice lock. This is what is commonly referred to as your clarifier. You turn your clarifier to tune in somebody's voice, okay? If you listen to them like we just were, and the person you're trying to talk to's voice is very, very fast, high-pitched, and fast, that will tell you you need to turn your clarifier counterclockwise to slow them down. Okay? If you hear someone talking and it's real slow, like like that, you want to turn your clarifier clockwise to speed their voice up. Now not everybody is going to come in at the same clarifier set point. I mean everybody's radio is a little different. Hence why, you know, whenever you find the person you want to talk to, you want to try and clarify to them. Even if other people around them sound really fast or really slow. So, I'll, get, I'll show you an example. I'm going clockwise. That's speeding them up. getting really slow. So, you speed them up, slow them down, so that you can understand them. So, if you're ever looking at a radio, you don't really know what, what is SSB. Well, that is single sideband. It's a different mode of talking. Sideband kind of has its own quote-unquote lingo that is used. 
like whenever you're calling out, trying to, you know, contact somebody, if you're just looking for somebody, you would call out CQ, CQDX. That's just kind of a, a lingo. So sideband lingo is different from, from AM. AM is kind of, you know, pretty much anything goes. Sideband, it, it, people really like to try and keep it, I don't know, what you, I, the best way I can describe it is like maybe a step below a ham operator. You know, the operators on there usually are a little more not foul mouth. I mean, you still get them, but for the most part, it's it's better than AM as far as, you know, the kind of uh, <coughs> stuff that people say. Uh, there are a lot of hardcore AM radio operators that do not like sideband, you know. Hence why sideband generally is not as as busy as AM. So... Try and get a good signal. Let me come up here. Show you on the meter. See how 308 was really, really slow? Sounded I just sped up the clarifier just a little bit. He calls back again. We'll try and dial him in. It makes it a lot easier if there's somebody coming in real good to, to uh, demonstrate the, the clarifier of it. But I'll just show you. See how I was able to speed him up and he cleared right up? That's what I mean. Okay, now I'm going to key the microphone. See how the needle, the power needle here is not even moving. But when I speak into it, audio. Audio. So that is a difference. Whenever you key your microphone, you're not going to have any wattage output until you speak into the mic. And then you should see the wattage scale, you know, start to climb. So that's that's pretty much the the short skinny on on sideband. You'll want to look if you want that type of radio. You'll just want to see look for one that is labeled. You know, it'll usually say AM and SSB single sideband. This is my control. You can see the LSB. And there's a USB, and if I put this right in the center, it's AM. You can't see that right now, but that's what it is. So this is an AM and upper and lower sideband or a single sideband radio. It's a lot of fun. It really is. It's, it's, a, it's a different way of doing things. And, uh, I mean, I've talked 50 miles from my house before on sideband, and that wasn't skip. That was just, you know, along the ground. And there, there was no way I could do that on, on AM. So... Anyway, that's kind of the short skinny of it. Um, I'll have a few more chapters coming. You know, like I said, power supplies, antennas, coax cable, microphones, all that kind of stuff. So, single sideband. It's a lot of fun. If you guys want to get into radio and you think you don't want it for anything other than listening to truck drivers on a trip, um, I would definitely check out, you know, getting a radio that has sideband potential. Thanks for watching. We'll see you.